Let us travel into the depressing future of a post-Amazon rainforest world. Fragmented by wildfires and devastated by increasing temperatures along with declining precipitation, the mighty Amazon basin will reach a tipping point where the most biodiverse rainforest on Earth will be reduced to a low biodiversity, low biomass scrub habitat. This process is already starting in the southwestern extent of the Amazon, which is heavily deforested, speeding up a process climate change alone could have eventually pushed. But from here, following the path of human pressure points, the Amazon will die back. The loss of biomass and productivity leading to a feedback loop where less water is released through transpiration and further dries out the basin, leading to more fire, which fragments and kills off more of Amazonia. While some of the basin's iconic large animal species might be able to survive in this new scrub landscape, much of the more specialized, smaller species will perish. A cataclysmic regional extinction event of primates, birds, amphibians, insects, plants, and much of what makes the Amazon so alive. These changes, though, will also have dramatic impacts on the people who live in the Amazon, especially in the face of climate change, which the Amazon rainforest could have been a critical part of adaptation to. Without the forest, droughts will be more severe, and access to water could become a real problem, especially if the water is tainted by poisons like mercury due to mining or sewage due to insufficient sanitation. Similarly, rising temperatures will increase decomposition, which will more rapidly use up nutrients in the soil and make farming more difficult than it is even today. Beyond the importance of the Amazon as a carbon sink, the transpiration in the rainforest does not only have an impact on the precipitation in Amazonia, and so loss of forest can affect rainfall patterns on other parts of the planet. There is a correlation between deforestation in the Amazon and declining precipitation to the north up in Central America. While correlation doesn't necessarily mean causation, there is a climate mechanism that suggests loss of forest cover in the Amazon causes declines in rainfall to the north. But the effects on global precipitation don't just end here. Models suggest deforestation in the Amazon correlates to declining precipitation over the Gulf of Mexico in August, and then the Indian Ocean in October. 